Hello friends once again welcome to my youtube channel first of all i thank you for taking your valuable time and interest in watching this practical base video so to begin with in this video i'll show you the procedure for estimation of calcium in water samples by adopting the EDTA titration method and for your convenience and information the content of this video revolves around the following first we'll have a short introduction to calcium and in stage 2 we'll see the formula used for calculation of calcium content in water samples and in stage 3 we'll see the step-by-step -step procedures involved in the preparations of reagents and in stage 4 I'll demonstrate the estimation of calcium in water samples and in stage 5 I'll demonstrate to you the calculation of calcium content in any water samples using Microsoft Excel so to begin with calcium is an important chemical parameter used in any water quality monitoring and assessment study calcium and magnesium are the common constituents of natural water and an important contributors towards the hardness of water so hardness of water will depend upon the concentration of calcium and magnesium present in the water samples and the major natural sources of calcium and magnesium is actually the rocks from which it is leached and calcium has an acceptable limit of 75 milligrams per liter and a permissible limit of 200 milligrams per liter as per the bureau of indian standard prescribed limit however this value might differ if you consider using the who standards or the epa standards or icmr standards and few other more standards next let's move on to the next stage that is we will see the formula used for the calculation of calcium in any water samples calcium is expressed in milligram per liter and the formula is ml of the titrant into 400.5 into 1.05 divided by ml of the samples used in the analysis however for your information in case if you are interested or if your study requires to find out even the magnesium content in the water samples then you also have to carry out the calcium hardness calculation and the formula for calcium hardness is ml of the titrant into 1000 into 1.05 divided by ml of the samples next let's move on to the next stage that is the preparations of reagents however before we proceed into the preparations of chemical reagents for your information there are two points that i would like to share with you point number one is the procedures that i am adopting for demonstration purposes in this video is as per the standard protocol prescribed by mighty and alpha and point number two to avoid wastage of chemical prepare the required reagent using minimum amount of chemicals however this might change if you have a lot of samples to analyze for example if the prescribed book says that dissolve 364 gram of x chemical in one liter of water and if you have only few number of samples then you don't need to prepare one liter of a reagent so instead you can wait on 36.4 grams of the x chemicals and, and dilute it in 100 ml of distilled water so this is how you can avoid wastage of chemicals during preparation of reagents now let's prepare the first reagent that is sodium hydroxide which is of 8 percent and to do so first weigh 8 gram of the sodium hydroxide pellets
and after doing so transfer it into the 100 ml volumetric flask then dilute it with distilled water it takes some time to dilute so keep shaking and mixing the solution so once this is done then the reagent is ready for used next let us prepare the second reagent that is meroxide indicator and for the preparations of this indicator the chemical required are ammonium purpurate and sodium chloride first place the 100 ml beaker in the weighing balance that is weight to zero then weigh 25 gram of sodium chloride after doing so take it out and then next weigh 0.05 grams of ammonium purpurate then take it out and then mix it together with the 25 gram sodium chloride if necessary you can also grind it and once this mixture has been mixed properly then this is the meroxide indicator and is ready for use always use a freshly prepared meroxide indicator for every analysis carried out Next, let's move on to the preparation of the last reagent that is preparations of the EDTA solution which is of 0.01 molarity. For your information, the procedure of preparation of this solution is exactly the same as the one used in total harness analysis. Therefore, the EDTA solution prepared during the Analysis of total hardness in water samples can also be used for calcium analysis. However, for the sake of everyone, I'll still show you the procedure for preparation of EDTA solution here. And for the preparation of the EDTA solution, first measure exactly 1.861 gram of disodium edit a salt and then transfer it into a 500 ml volumetric flask and once this is done dilute the edit a disodium salt with distilled water by filling the volumetric flask up to the mark Once this is done, then this solution will be used for the titration of the water samples for estimating the calcium concentration present in it. And if you are interested in the procedure for standardization of the EDTA solution, you can kindly refer to my other video on estimation of total hardness in water samples by adopting the EDTA titration method. Next, let's move on to the next stage that is the estimation of calcium content in the water samples. To do so, for demonstration purposes and for easy understanding, let us assume that we are analyzing the calcium content of these water samples. So to begin with, first take three conical flasks which is of 250 ml capacity then with the help of a measuring cylinder measure 50 ml of the water samples and then pour it into the conical flask after doing so to each of the conical flasks containing the water samples first add 1 ml of sodium hydroxide solution then followed by 
adding a pinch of meroxide indicator. On addition of this indicator, you'll see that the samples turn pink in color. After doing this, then the next stage is titration of the water samples. So first, fill the burette with the prepared 0.01 molarity edit a solution. Then titrate the samples till the pink color changes into purple. And remember to record the initial and final burette reading for every titration. Repeat this same procedure for the other replicates and also for the other samples that you have. And let us assume that the data obtained for titration of the samples are as displayed on the screen. And these data are the data obtained from the bureau, the initial bureau reading and the final bureau reading. And this data will be used during the calculation stage shortly. Next, let's move on to the last stage that is the calculation of the calcium concentration in these water samples that we analyze with the help of Microsoft Excel. The procedure for calculation of calcium concentration in the water samples is a very simple and easy procedure. To begin with, first of all, bring the calcium formula into this sheet. So we have already seen earlier that calcium in mg per liter is equal to ml of the titrant into 400.5 into 1.05 divided by ml of samples. So let's bring on the data we obtain after titration of the samples. So we have only one sample with three replicates R1, R2 and R3 and the initial buried reading for replicate 1 is 0 and final buried reading is 1.5 where the samples turn from pink to purple. And for a second replicate, the initial bureau reading is 1.5 and the final bureau reading is 3.2. And for replicate 3, it's 3.2 initial bureau reading and 4.6 is the final bureau reading. So from here, we'll obtain the T value. What is the volume of EDTA used for titration of the sample? So it's very easy. Just have to put here an equal sign. Final volume minus the initial period reading so this will give you the volume of edit a use or the t value so this is for replicate one replicate two and replicate three so we already know that ml samples we have we use is 50 ml for analysis right so now directly we can determine or calculate the calcium concentration in the samples that we analyze so by putting equal sign ml of the titan which is t is this value into 400.5 into 1.05 divided by ml of samples ml of samples is 50 so the value that you obtain is 12.6175 so similarly you can do for replicate 2 and replicate 3 these are the values that you obtain for three different replicates. But from here, we'll find out the average value. So to do so, go to auto sum, average, press enter key. So which means that calcium concentration of the samples that we analyze is 12.89. Okay. So for your information, in case you wanted to find out the magnesium concentration as well, then... Remember that you have to also calculate the calcium hardness concentration of the samples. So for doing so, let's just bring the calcium hardness formula here. It's exactly the same, only difference is this value in the middle. right? Calcium hardness is equal to ml of the titan which is 1.5 into 1000 into 1.05 divided by ml of samples 50 this will give you the calcium hardness values so these are the things so again for this one you have to find the average so go to auto sum average 
and this. So this 12.89 will be the mean calcium concentration in the samples we analyze, whereas 32.2 will be the mean calcium hardness value of the samples that we analyze. So remember this point for any water quality analysis in case you are interested in finding or determining the concentration of magnesium in the water samples that you analyze then it is important to calculate the calcium concentration as well as the calcium hardness concentration present in the water samples so technically this is how you have to carry out the calculation for calcium concentration as well as the calcium hardness in any number of samples that you have in case you have two samples five ten or n number of samples with this we now have come to an end of this video i believe and i hope that this video will benefit many students and also provide a platform for students to understand how to estimate calcium in any water samples adopting the standard protocol so with that if you find this video helpful please kindly like share and subscribe to my channel so once again thank you so much and God blessed.